Hello, Bob Fleming here. <coughs> oh, I'm not wrong, actually. Got me brew. Welcome, or welcome back, if that's the case. Uh, you, you tuned into Easy Restorations. You know that already because you're not silly. Right, if you like to drop a like, that would be good because I've just gone back through my nearly 250 odd videos and the majority of them it's got like sort of i don't know about four thousand uh views and that and it's got like 30 30 likes hello <laughs> knock 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 my my channel just isn't growing um it needs to grow because i need to get some money out of it somehow and the only way i'm going to do that is to get the likes up basically uh because that generates a little bit of revenue i have sundries to replace you know i've got my, my lubricants my cutting compounds my polishes uh my rags my uh, wet wipes all that kind of stuff uh you know broken tools etc 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 it will just help me out guys if you really do hit that like button uh from now on that would be great and then get your kids to do it and perhaps the dog or the cat to pull the button that would be great that would be absolutely fantastic right enough waffling audi a2 uh door mirrors now i am going to be putting a door mirror back together today that i've taken that i bought in a job lot of parts um what i've done is i've disassembled it and once i've put this one back together i will disassemble uh, this one now the reason i'm disassembling them is because uh the driver's side one was uh, seized. I mean, you could not, I don't know if you saw it on an earlier video, I tried to pull it, I tried to push it, it was it was seized solid. And basically what's happened is the grease, which sits in there, okay, that's, that's fixed to the car, no it's not, that's fixed to the head. Grease should be all around there. And then that piece, that plastic piece, is supposed to rub against this alloy piece, okay. And it's supposed to slither around on that but that is like sandpaper or was like sandpaper because it had so much corrosion in there it basically seized so it would not go up those little there's three sort of like steps if you like on there and as you can see on that one there's also three steps on there so you couldn't fold it either way couldn't bend it it was, it was actually bending the door me trying to do that um it wasn't overly essential but one thing my car lacks is heated door mirrors so in my infinite wisdom i went out on search on uh, evil bay and i managed to find a couple of these little beauties got the two little tabs on that they are basically heating pads uh, for many diff different applications but this one actually beautifully fits the door glass on the back there so we will be installing that on the back of there and then rebuilding it applying some new grease uh, in there I will go with molly grease I think because of the heat uh, obviously we get 30 and we have 40 degrees this year for the first time ever so that's not going to go down is it it's going to be yeah yeah on average it's probably 29 30 degrees heat on you know in this in the UK and normal grease I think would start to sort of and just let go and, and bugger off I could put lithium grease, no, I have lithium grease, that kind of sticks. That's pretty good. Or chain grease. Now there's a thought. Chain grease is like bloody treacle, isn't it? I might even just give that a squirt uh, on um, rebuild. And we'll go from there. You will need something like, um, oh God, like, like a silicon, a clear silicon, translucent silicon. Um, I tend to use, is it ProBond, something like that? I, I can't find it at the moment. Yes, I've had a clear up of the shed, look. Let's go out here and start again. Look, I can actually get in the shed now. There is physically a way in the shed. The bike is now in the other shed over yonder, that's good. And I've managed to get my tools back in the tool trays respectively. Back hanging up, back hanging up, back hanging up. 
cutters, pliers in there, standing knives away, screwdrivers in the screwdriver drawer, second drawer down, box of rubbish. So, yes, I'm ready to literally put all this back together. It'll be a bit, a bit more sorted out in a minute, but what I've been doing all morning is cleaning this EGR valve that I managed to acquire in that job lot that I've uh, purchased. And to be fair, it's all that horrible nasty carbon is coming right off. That was absolutely, I should have done it before and after, shouldn't I really? Well, one thing I do need to get to is this little shut off valve here. When that vacuum line on there sucks, that pulls that shaft upwards and opens up this, this uh, superheated valve here. So that plate goes that way and lets hot, the hot gases escape back into the system so that seat is pretty much more like a you know like a valve and a cylinder head so i do need to compress that i will do that in the vise with a little piece of wood just to so i can open it up and then i will get my little brass brush why do we use a brass brush because it doesn't mark aluminium that's why and i've had me me uh cut down loofah right in the oven Blah, 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 blip, blop, bloop. And I've had my hard bristle detail brush in there. And on me, honestly, that looks like a brand new piece of kit now. And it will be 100% when I've finished. This mixture in here is basically dirty paraffin. And I was sort of in the process of, I've sorted out all the nuts and bolts that came with the vehicle in different guises there's all the nuts and bolts they will be going in for a good soak in there that is just paraffin or it used to be um i've chucked the lug nuts in there or the wheel nuts bolts even lug bolts there uh, i've got a spare set of five so if ever i mangle one i've got some nice spare ones and they will be all cleaned up after they come out of there they will go onto the brass wheel be shined up and I will have a drawer or two uh, designated for the uh, Audi A2 bits. Right, without further ado, let me put this aside or stand you up in the stand so you'll be sort of like that-ish because I'll need to apply some crusty rusty to these two parts there because they are steel and they will rust again. Like I say, I've had that on the wheel, but it's starting to turn again. So I need to give that a good coating of that on there just to turn the rusty bits. It won't affect the shiny metal, but just the rusty bits, it will turn black and protect. Serve and protect. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right, let me crack on. And I'll see you in a sec. Hello, right, Joe. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. All right, first things first, I'm going to give that a little bit of heat treatment because it's been in the paraffin, or the kerosene. And I just want to make sure that everything is bone dry in there. Just dry all that up. I've had the brass brush in there, I've had every type of brush that I can think of, even the wife's toothbrush. It's been in there, just want to make sure it's totally dry so the grease has the best chance of sticking to it. Luckily, aluminium doesn't take forever to cool down. It's, it's pretty good like that. How you doing anyway? I hope you're all keeping well out there in these troubled times all around the world. It's not very good, is it? Right. I'll put that down. I think that's pretty much cooked. Right, let's turn that off. Hockley dockley. I'm going to sit it in that glass bowl so it doesn't catch fire. Right, what do we need to do? We need to treat treat my ring, don't we? We need to treat my ring. I need to treat my horseshoe. This is going to be quite tough, actually. To I might just slather that in grease, in all fairness. But I'll try it with this first. It's crusty. Give it a good shake, as per usual. Come on, focus, 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 focus. Right, you're focused, okay. Weapon of choice. 
is HB2 in brush form. <laughs> Stupid boy. Let's get a little bit on the end of there. And then we'll just literally give it a licking. Perhaps I should have gone round that before with a degreaser because it looks a bit greasy in there. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, that's going to turn black shortly with the chemical makeup turning that iron in the steel to a usable surface. Ooh, itty. Bloody know it all. I don't know it all. I don't know anything. I'm just going from self-taught experience. And I don't think you can beat that. Oh, crikey, we're scraping the barrel here. We are scraping the barrel properly. Yeah, that's not going to stick on there because it's too shiny. It's too shiny. Right, that'll do. That's got a bit of coat on there. Let's just give that a bit of a dobby. Dibby dobbler. Just gives it a little bit of protection, doesn't it? That's all, that's all I'm looking for. Especially on the sides of the metal, the inside part there and the outside part, they they get forgotten about, don't they? Right, well, I think I've got a bit in there. I'm going to give that 15, 20 minutes to dry off. Okay, that's that little job done. How is me metal? Yeah, that's all right. It's touchable now, but... See, it's still got some of that horrible... See the crust? It's that that rot is horrible, but it's it, it's not actually eating away at the alloy. It's it's forming a crust on the surface of the alloy. I don't like it though, so I'm still going to give it a a complete and utter spray of where are you? Tech Tectane chain spray. Uh, yeah, candy. Cadenas, okay, lovely. When how old is this tin? February 2017. Oh, yeah, product only. I thought it was older than that, to be fair. But yes, there we are. Right, that's ready to to go on. That's come up so much better. I've had a look at the one that's on the car, and it's got a great big gouge out the top there. So anything's a bonus from here on in. Right now, we need to sort of get this pad into the back of the mirror so it's like that face down and like so now i need to know if the wires the two black wires end up this end or that end if they end up that end i'm just gonna sort of bore me way in there by talking to it a lot <laughs> and then those two little prongs you see will stick up out of there and that'll be that but uh Right, let's have a look at the wiring. The, the biggie pardon. Right, so here's the wiring. I've cleaned all that up look nicely. So the wires sort of head back towards the bracketry. So away from uh, that. Not that I suppose that matters too much. It's going to go on about there. So yeah, it does need to be sort of in here. Okay, so that means... I am going to need to just chop a little piece out of there with my side cutters. Where are you? Just to make a channel in there for the cables to go in. And I'll bring that up and hopefully I should be able to get the two pins either side there. And then it will go, the pin, the cables will go straight on. Uh, like I said before, the mirror is already coming away. Now, I don't really want to separate that completely, so what I'm hoping to do is just, without breaking the mirror, just jimmy that up enough that I like that so I can actually slide the, the heated mat in there, or the soon-to-be heated mat. Right, let me just chop a mark out of there. And we'll right, on. okay, in my infinite wisdom. Okay, that was obviously uh, completely stuck on there, apart from that little corner that was up. Now, I was thinking... Hang on a minute. Okay, I can I can open that piece up there. Okay, and and slide the heating mat in. Sort of something, kind of, kind of like that. But 
But then on the back of this heating pad is a piece of paper. You peel it off and it's sticky. So the heat would then first have to come through there. It might even burn its way through. I don't know. Uh, so I thought, right, I've got to take this all off. It's actually a better for me because... Let me just put some light on. Um, if you can see that I've cut a little notch out of there. So those two pins go in there. The thing is, also on the back of this mirror, now I've just managed to jimmy it off. Now, that was very touch and go. That was quite a clinchy bottom moment there. But I used one of these things. It's a, It comes in a kit with all different sort of ends on it like that. And you can undo your door trims with these just by sort of scooping them up. Anyway, so I've got that in there. Uh, blade flat blade down so the curve on the end of it basically got that in there and I very carefully jimmied up that side that side and then finally this is the hard part because that part has got the most glue on it well it's stuck the most because obviously there's only that but there and that but there but this end is it was quite tough so I was sort of clenching a little bit when I got to here and I just gently did a bit of that, did a bit of that, did a bit of that, and pop, off she come. Now, on the back of this mirror is uh, the sticky pad that goes onto the plastic piece. And it's also, uh, like, foamy, so basically that's insulation. So I really need to make a square, a rectangle there, and remove it, of which I've started to do, as you can see, with the flat-bladed tool. Okay, so anyway, I'll carry on with that in a sec. But anyway, there's that little notch that I cut there, look. So basically the pad will go in there, like so. I might even open up a little bit more on this side, just so it's not putting any pressure on any of that heating element. And that's pretty much gonna be bang on for where I want the heating element to be, pretty much center of, of that mirror. Okay, well, leave me to it for a bit. I want to nibble a bit out there, so that goes on there quite nicely. And I then need to remove a rectangle of that, so that is in contact with the mirror. Um, and then we'll uh, come back and we'll stick the pad on there. Well, on there first, and then we'll re-adhere that to there. And then we can start on with getting the mirror back together, which is going to be fun not right see you in a bit all right the mirror's sorted out now it's out of the way over there so i can concentrate on this that's basically your wing mirror isn't it that's the part that bolts onto your door and there's the insides of the uh, the mirror head itself so like i say you've got three little castellated pieces on there and you've got three little recesses in there one two and three now i've had to go along i could have got my dremel out i suppose and done it properly but I've gone along and I've had to get rid of all the crust off of those three surfaces in there because otherwise that would have just sandpapered this plastic away in no time. Now that piece sits over there and if we have a look at the bottom when we move it, it, it moves beautifully, it just springs up a bit. And then it sits back down again. Okay, so springs up, look. Sits back down. Springs up. Oop. Sits back down. Because that spring pressure on there, which is basically right here, that. Then that. And then you've got to push that down with quite a bit of force. So it completely clears those two, those two ears. On there, and then you sh slide the shoehorn, the uh, the uh, what do you call it? Yeah, I know what I'm talking about that piece in there, and it locks it in, and you let go, and it's all doing, 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 doing. That's basically the problem cured, isn't it? Right, Belly's calling, so I need to go and have some dinner. Right, I'll catch you guys in a bit. See you in a bit. Okay, back. I'm back for good. I want you back. Okay, so let's start off from. Number one, I well greased that up in there. That then slots on there and it it moves beautifully. Okay, so we'll set that on there, nice and firm. I should really clamp it down somewhere, but for the sake of you not seeing, 
what's going on i'm just going to do it like this let's get a bit more light on the subject shall we there's my other light plug sockety thing right that's better ain't it right hockley a dockley let's move that out of the way we don't need that in the way we don't need this and that and that and this we just need a size i don't know 30 let's go for a 30. Now what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to place the spring and the cup. Cup in the spring, that over there. Let's get the horseshoe. That's what I was looking for. Okay, let's get above there. Like so, fits quite nicely in there. Actually, I'm going to turn that around. It seems to be a bit more forgiving. Like that. Well, let's put some pressure on it. Live TV, eh? I don't know. Well, I can't get that in there because that's in the way. So let's turn that round the other way. How did I do it the first time? Screwdriver, I think. In actual fact, there's no point in bumping it up because that'll be even more spring pressure, won't it? That needs something under there. Let's put uh, let's put the mirror under there. Don't be stupid, easy. It'll break. Hockety doctor. Let's put an Allen key under there. That's a bit better. Can I just do it by hand? Am I that well hard? I don't know. Raw. No. What did I do? What did I do? I think I used a. Uh, what did I use? Did I use a spark plug spanner or something? I can't remember. Ages ago. <laughs> or did I use a socket? Or did I use a socket? Let's put a socket on there, but then that's going to push down. And ah, I remember. I used a socket which sat on the outside ring. Uh, you still awake? Right, okay. Like so. I push that down and then I can't get my pin in. Now what did I do? I think I just I think I just roughed it out actually. Let's try a slightly smaller spanner. That's my 32. Where's me where's me 28? Let's try me 28, because I need to get in there. Like so. Ah, let's try that way. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, come on. To me, to you. To me, to you. Now it's not getting enough push down on that back lip. That's about right. Oh, let's try it the other way. Can you see it at the back? Yeah, this isn't a pain in the ass at all, is it? Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> right. See, I can push that down fairly easily, but then my thumb's in the way and I'm using two hands. So, let's try something completely different. Let's try the old favourites. Just not quite getting enough umphy umphy on it. Hang on. Play ball. Play ball, sir. That's better. See, once you get it in and start it, like so, you're in pretty much. And then we go like that and we drive that clip in there. And there we have it. That's not bad, is it? Folds in. 
beautiful. I am super pleased with that. That's cool. Right, now all I need to do is cover that in grease. Because that is the major part that rusts. And that was gammy. Proper gammy. Yeah, that's going nowhere. And if I actually spray some grease down into the bottom of that cup and keep it up that way, it should go around the little moat that's in the bottom of that tray. Beautiful, that's good. I don't mind getting grease all over this because, just because. Because, 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 because of the wonderful thing he does. All right, now this goes up into thither. Like so. And then we've got three small screws. One, two, and three. So let's screw those short ones into there. Here's some I made earlier. One, two, three. Right, now where is my hex stuff? I've only gone and found it, haven't I? So there we go. Get one in there. Just wang them in there. I don't know how to speed it up halfway through a video, so if you, any of you guys know, let me know. So it would be good if I could just go through there, and then that'll be done, wouldn't it? One. Because of the wonderful things he does. Right, that is in there nice and firm. Don't give it too much beans because it's only going into plastic, isn't it? So there we are. That's where we're at so far. Beautiful. I, I can play with that all day long. <laughs> right, now we need to get the wiring harness in. And it goes up through there. And then in through here, like so. Um, now, you do have to remove this plug from the holder because that holder does not go through that gap okay it's too big it's too big so i have very kindly removed it myself so this is probably going to be out of a pig no it's not flip an egg that's worked so i can pull that through there without too much hassle Bring that into play, okay, and then that, you see the three bolt holes, one, two, three, they go onto those three pegs, one, two, and three. So let's get that in situ, like, where are they, to me, to you. Come on, stop being a monkey. Brass monkey. A funky monkey. There we go. Now we're in. So we need three longish screws now to go in there, which are these little cherubs. So we bang them three in there. One. Two. And three. And then we need a very small uh, Torx which will be that one. I'm going to screw that in there. Swap that over. <coughs> like so. Just snug that up. Till it stops. I've got the shakes. My sandwich hasn't kicked in yet. <clears throat> Don't you just love diabetes? Right, there's the screw number six. That's in situ. Okay, so we have two little cables to heat our heating pad up. So now what we've got to do basically, once I've adhered that to there, you basically pop the little thingies on and snap that into place very gently. We'll always use the palm of your hand 
on the center of the glass where basically this circle is palm of hand push it until it clicks now I've I've yet to glue that down so I will do that presently and we can get on with it can't we well basically I mean that's it isn't it uh oh spaghettios how the chuff oh my goodness that should have been through there first that aluminium piece should have gone through there <laughs> ah, shouldn't it yeah it should is that going to go in there oh, no it's not so I've got to undo that springy clip again plus all these six screws and start again and get that in there like so so that sits behind there that piece of rubber incidentally there which I've cleaned up because that was all white and crusty wasn't it that actually sits where are we in there like that but that's on the on, on the flip side isn't it oh poo right I'm going in for a brew but that's you get the idea don't you I'm going to glue that up and then go and get myself a nice brew and calm down all right okay well back to back to where I, <laughs> back to where I started the heating pad is now stuck in position I have put some masking tape over the two terminals because I don't want to Put glue all over those terminals and I've also gone around the edge of the mirror and I've literally folded in the edges because that black lip is visible when the mirror sits inside the black lip and it's on your car so you don't want to get glue all around there I was going to go for what was I going to do I was going to use a uh, silicon grippy compound <laughs> But I'm going to use this stuff, SA90. It's basically Evo stick in a can. Okay, so what you do is you spray it on, uh, on liberally like so and like so. And then you leave it 10 minutes and then you splat a little bit of weight. Obviously that mirror is curved. So it's best to um, leave that as is and put the weight on top of the glass. Something like, something soft to curves to the mirror and then just leave that stick that to one side leave that for a couple of hours and you're ready to go right let's get squirting uh there we go that's all i use a bit of a uh, bit of uh, what's that 12 mil masking tape okay let's get gluing i have given it a good shake everything else is away from the work area okay shake 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 <laughs> Right, here we go. Incidentally, this comes out in like a fan shape. It doesn't come out as like a blob. So on the nozzle of these cans, you can rotate this piece, which is sort of in between there and there. You can do it horizontally or vertically. Now, weirdly enough, horizontally makes the spray come out vertically. Yeah, work that out. I don't know. So you can basically control it. Let's have a go. Right, don't be shy with the glue. Same thing on the miroir. This stuff is fantastic to work with. That had had a really good clean. I'd use the super duper wipes first to get rid of any contaminants on there because all that will happen is you'll put the mirror on and the mirror will start to work loose over the weeks and months. And there'll be no, it'll, it'll just peel away uh, from that surface. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to leave that for a good 10 minutes, I reckon. Let's get these little odd bits of foam out of there. It's really good stuff. Now, when you take the mirror apart, you will notice that on this piece, where, where's the metal piece? There's a metal piece. That piece there, okay, once that's in there, you'll see that's broken off. But that was already like, I didn't break that. That was like it was. And it goes over these little pegs and there's one there and there's one there. Basically what's happened is these were little plastic towers and they put the metal, the alloy piece in there firmly, clunk it in, it does actually click in. And then they've gone over the top with like a branding iron sort of thing and they've melted the ends over. 
So what I'm going to do is clean this up and then I am going to do the same trick with this. Squirt, 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 and that should hold that in place. Right, let's crack on. Right, we have some rain assist going on now. The miroir is being pressed from the top in the centre by a socket followed by a 36mm just for the weight, just to keep the pressure on for that square piece in the middle there. And there's a nice pad underneath, so these peg, these clips, uh, little clamps aren't uh, trying to bend the glass, if you see what I mean. Right, now I remember now how a complete bastard this is to get uh, back together. Uh, not, not including um, disassembly. Right, first of all, you have to get your electrochemic piece, this piece, and then you put on your metal cap, like so. Is that right? Yes, it is. Then you put on your spring, okay? Right, so you've got that sort of affair hanging all around your mirror. Now, right, now we have to put the shroud over this aluminium piece, not right in, just to about there, because now we've got to thread through <clears throat> this plug. That's got to go down through there, and then out through the bottom, like so. So you're sort of doing this affair. Now you need to pull through quite a lot to get over this big chunky piece that's here okay because that piece there with a little uh, zip tie on it or tie wrap that needs to clamp up in there yes I know it's a bit complicated but that's just how it is so I've got the big chunky piece through now all right like so and now we can bring that zip tie down through the hole okay down to where it's supposed to be there now we can put the black plastic shroud over the top, okay, and click that in place. I can heat that back over uh, in a moment and that one to keep that secure. So now we're left with sort of this affair, okay? Now then, right, now then, now then, <laughs> stop it easy. Right, so now your spring goes on and that goes on. You can see where I went with this, can't you? I put it all together and I hadn't even put the wiring through. Now I have to clamp that or press that down whilst getting the horseshoe in, but because I'm such a buff, such a dab hand at this now, this should be an absolute flipping doddle, shouldn't it? Let me just, uh, let me just flatten that back a bit. Flatten that back out, because this, this piece of steel here is very soft. Right, let's push down on there and get, this, get the clip in. Look at that. Bosh, I am a dab hand at that now. Okay, so now we can start to reassemble the mirror head. Okay, so we need to take... I've done it again, haven't I? That's why it was easy. <laughs> oh my God, I've got to unthread it all again. This is a freaking nightmare. You guys laugh away. Go on, have a good... Have a good chin wag because it is bloody stupid, isn't it? Come on out, you come. You'll get back. Okay. So that has to come off. That has to come off. This has to be separated from the plastic piece. Then we need to pull the cable right out. Once again, this is about the 15th time I have done this. Okay, that needs to come off of there. <laughs> Tell you what, when I get to, uh, when I'm editing this video, I shall put skip forward to so-and-so time, because I will have it right. So, now, it's cup and spring, that is right. Then, the uh, headpiece, which holds the mirror itself. Let's put that down through there. Like so. Now, 
put these two pieces in slightly get your plug down in there i wonder why that clip went on so easy that horseshoe horseshoe right we've got that so we'll pull that cable back through there being careful not to snag it on anything because it is old isn't it? it's old right we get the uh tie wrap in there what does it go there i'm going to put it in there so it can't be pulled okay we'll put that back on there Ruhi. okay now we can pop that on there spring and shoe on there now i've got to try and push that down and get the horseshoe back in stop giggling in the back right <laughs> Easy, you're bloody stupid. Now, what I did earlier, before I had this plastic piece on, I got my grips. Okay, this is how easy it was. I got my grips like that, basically, and I put that over there and that under there, and I compressed and it pushed it down beautifully. But now I've got the plastic on there, I can't use my my grips unless I really pad that out with something. But there's always a chance that quite, quite a high pressure there that this might crack. So I've just got to be well hard and do it the manual way, haven't I? Booger. Right, let's have a go, see what I can do with this. Yeah, that's a bit, that's a bit tougher. Okie dokie. Never say die. Right, let's get that in there. Let's push that right down. I'm back to square one, aren't we? Yeah, so anyway, yeah, if, if you contact one of your uh, suppliers on the Audi A2 site, they'll supply you with a with a heated one of these just for, for about a tanner. No, I'm joking. You need to go on there now. So how the chuffinick do I compress that? Do I just go for it with a big flat-ended screwdriver? super meat size all right what can i do with that well i can but then it does that so let's do the front get the little feet underneath no it all needs to be look how easy that bends isn't it? bad isn't it you're probably shouting at the screens, Easy, what are you doing? You don't need to do that. It's simple. You just need to do this. But I don't know what this is. Well, I've got this specialist tool part here, but then I'd have to unthread that and thread that cable through. Oh, I'm joking. Oh, that fits in there beautifully. But it would cut the cable. See, because that's, that's what I've got in there. That's the hurdle I have to jump now. It's got this blooming cable in the way, but it has to be that way because you can't thread the wire through afterwards because that's all clamped up with that. You see, there's no way of getting the cable through there. There just is no gap. That's why it's being a bit of a monkey. Let me have right, a Right, clip is in. I came to the realisation that it wasn't easy and that you needed three of these and I only have two. So my beautiful wife, Caroline, assisted by, this is the way we did it. Caroline pushed down on there, whilst I pushed down on there, and then it went down so easy, I put the, the horseshoe clip in and we let go and that was it. Wasn't that easy? Yes. Right, I've got to do the strip down of this one shortly, so I'll be calling on your services once again. Is that okay? Yes, husband. Okay, right, okay. Oh, just just put the charge on me, Bill, will not you? So. Yes. Right, okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. That's Jeff. that, and now we need to get that piece. <gasps> oh, no. What? It's all right. I need, Did you do something wrong? I need to take all this apart again to get that piece. No, I haven't. I'm, <laughs> I'm joking. It's horrible kids. I'm joking. <laughs> right, let me sit you up in your cradle, and you can see what I do to get this thing back together. Now, right. what to pull over that was. Sometimes in life, you just need that extra pair of hands, and that was the ticket to success. Right, before I go putting all these gubbins back together, I am gonna give this little area here another squirt of the old uh, cadenas, okay? Because that is the part that rusts. So we'll liberally give that a coating just to 
future proof it. Okay, no need to funny around with that. I don't really need to fix that into there yet. We can do that afterwards. So let's get the head on the mirror. So we'll put that through there. Okay, and we'll twist that around there. Like so, make sure the cable's through the hole. And then it just simply, simply just clips over uh, quite simply. Uh, simply like that. Simply, there we go. Okay, so that's in position like that. It clips in, there's a little clip under there and it goes in quite nicely. There you go. So now I can do up the three screws. One, two, three, and I can put that in position with the three screws. One, two, three. And then I can plug in that into our mirror and put that, pop that on. And then all needs to happen after that is that needs to go on the bottom with the two screws. And we are finished. Okay, well, let me get these screws in and uh, we'll go from there. I'm going to pause you there. Right, I've screwed these three screws in. Now we'll put in these long screws. Like so, and we'll just put those in place. Do you know what? This is fighting me all the way. I've put these three screws in here. Then I realised that that cable there is trapped in between this and that. So now I've got to unclip it again. Oh, God. <laughs> Get that cable out of there. Oh, clipping back in. Like so, and I'll do the three screws back up again. Right, number three. Right, that has fought me tooth and nail all the way. Now we're left with what we started with, basically. But we've got these two cables out and about. Now what I've done is I've taken the black plastic. Oh, they have, they've got like an insulation on. A square plastic block. So I've snipped that down through there using my side cutters to bear them back because... It's, when I dry tested, dry fitted these little terminals onto the mirror terminals, they just fell back off. So I needed to get my side cutters and just crimp up very slightly, just nip those two curved pieces in so it grips onto the mirror. Right, let's have a look at the mirror. I think we're just about ready to go with that. Let's remove all these little clamps. They're fantastic. Pan shop. Jobs are good. Okay, so here we have the mirror with the two little tabs on. I need to put the cables on and then snap that in position. Now this is going to be really easy, boys, isn't it? So let's first put it's my head anyway. You know? Let's first put that one on there. That is lovely and firm. Then we'll put the second one on there. And you get so yeah, it's an easy mod. Right, let's find my little groove that I've chipped out of the mirror there. And we'll put that in there like so. And now I should be able to just pop that back on there like so. Are we in? We are in. Is that going to pop off there? No, it's not. He's in. He is proper in. Woohoo! A wooger. Let's have an a wooger moment. Come on. <coughs> oh, yeah. Baby. <laughs> right, that's back on. I just need to now put that on my car. Um, oh, I need to put that plug back on the end of there, don't I? Should we do that whilst we're, whilst we're in here? So if you look at that, look. The orientation, how it's been bent, and orientation of that plug, well, it actually goes like that. Now, what you do is you slide that. There's a little keyway. See the keyway there? And you've got the two pins on there. So you literally slide it in like that, bend that cable down, and that clips back in under there. Like so, that's it. That's job done. Plug's waiting to go back back onto the car. And there we go. It did have a little mini tie wrap around there. So I suppose I should put one on, shouldn't I? Right. 
let's put a tie rack around there zip tie whatever you want to call it i've got the shakes again lemon diabetes i should go and get something to eat come on there that's as is just need to snip that off here's a pair of scissors i had earlier well there we go that is 100 percent done nearly and i say nearly because we need to really put this piece back in uh, that literally slides in onto there like that and uh, and there's a bit of insulation between bodywork and mirror okay now before i put that on there i am going to give that a spray of the chain loop simply because salty water's gotten in there before and if we look at this one you can quite clearly see uh, it's not nice that fur it has been encapsulated in there that that salt and that uh, foam piece has let that has sandwiched that in there and let it do its chemical reaction and that's what happens so if i give it a little bit of a head start just a light hope that's not the glue <laughs> just a bit of a bit of a tickle like so right there's a little white piece at the bottom there a little a little split piece there let you see that goes over the cable like so and then that quite nicely sits back in there like so it really is molded 100 percent perfectly so that now is finished product ready to go on the car i'll finish the video with us uh, testing this we'll spray it with a load of water tomorrow morning and uh put the heater on and see what happens hopefully touch wood it will work there we go right i'll put that to one side in somewhere safe where it won't fall on the floor and get scratched uh, I'll tell you what, I'll do that mirror test on another video. What I'll do on this video is quickly... Oh, I haven't put the base plate on the other one, have I? Never mind. Let's just whip this apart. And I'll show you how to break it down. And then we'll, we'll wrap that up. Okay, this is going to be a lot quicker than I thought. I'm just going to pause that there. Right, so there's that panel off there. No problemo. Let's unclip the mirror. Unclip the mirror. Actually, I might be able to take that off without that being disturbed, might I? Disturbed? No, I won't. I have to take it off. It sounds so wrong. It sounds so right. Come on, little beauty, off you come. That's it. <clears throat> Where's my plastic Jimmy tool? There it is. Let's get that in there. Just to unclip it around. Just to take that out. Come on. Stop mucking about. Okay, so there is our mirror glass. Well, I need to put the other mat in that side. Okay, that's what we got to. So we can spin these three screws out. Okay, one. It's a bit dark, isn't it? I don't know why my light is dark today it's a really gloomy day out so probably got something to do with it okay there's the three screws out you can see the two cables buried up in there and there are those uh, plastic square insulators on there that need to be just nibbled off i just started in this corner and nibbled down it literally slides off right so that's off of there should be able to just take that off like that that's that and look at the state of that. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That is horrible. So now you know the process from there. I need to press down on that, get that horseshoe clip out without damaging it. And uh, the, then the, the cable in comes out, obviously, when you separate that part from that part, like that, and off. And that's it. So, yeah, wish me luck. I've got to do something about this. It's horrible. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, see you again. Ah, oh, what episode's this? 13. That's why everything's gone wrong. But no, actually, the reason it's gone wrong is because I'm learning all the way. This is all new to me. Um, I, I just like to do things myself, find out um, how to do stuff.
and just do it and repair it if I can. 99% of the time I can repair stuff. And the beauty of having spare parts is because if you try something on it and you break it off the car, then you can still uh, fix this stuff on your car once you take it off uh, the right way because you know how <laughs> you broke it learning. Right. Oh, that fought me all the way. Episode 13 comes to an end. Please hit that like button. Uh, if I get, say, 5,000 views on this video, absolutely fantastic. And I get about 30. 30 likes and that means my channel doesn't go anywhere it stagnates and i don't get a lot of views the more likes you get the more the algorithm uh, takes it into consideration and then bumps it up bumps it up bumps it up to uh, dizzy heights and that's when you start to get a little bit of monetary coming back in which would really help me i don't do patreon i don't ask you guys um to pay to watch me fall around in my shed but uh, likes do help. It costs you nothing. It te takes a second. Um, right. Okay. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you again uh, in episode 14. Who knows what we'll be tackling there. Mm. Oh, I know what I'm going to be tackling there. I'm going to be retrofitting heated seats. I'll explain a little bit more on that. I'm not going to be changing my seats out for other seats. I'm going to be taking my seats out, declothing them, which is uh, a little bit of a task, but I've done that a million times on other vehicles. It's quite an art, but once you've got the knack of it, to get the covers off, seat covers off, it, it's it's fine. And I'm going to be retrofitting some heat pads in the seat itself, and then reassembly, and then wiring in. And if that all goes to plan, I'll be fitting heated steering wheel, which is basically the same thing. You get a heated pad that goes round your steering wheel and you fix it on there and you have to wire it in. And there we go. So lots coming up, guys. Lots coming up. Right, take care. I hope you're going to have a good weekend and the following week is going to bless you with much goodness. Okay, take care. Easy signing off. Catch you again. Thank <laughs> you.